Okay guys, this is just a quick video to show you my progress on the witch. I added hair to her, um, which was a wig, and then I added yarn to it. I actually hot glued the yarn in. I bought some camouflage colored yarn and took it apart and added it into the wig because it had greens and browns and beige. I changed her eyes up a little. I'm not sure if you can tell on the video or not. Um, I used the same mold, but when I was making the mold after I put the hot glue in I added some glow-in-the-dark paint to it not that I wanted it to glow in the dark but I wanted it to have like a real milky appearance to her eyes this is a really bright light you can't even really tell that the eyes are on that well but sorry no it's not terribly in focus um, but at night I think she'll look really good um, this is just sitting here. This is just a mock-up. It's not, as you can see, it's not terribly clean, but I hot glued her hair on. This is a wig that I had. It had, like, the vampire, the widow's peak to it, so I just cut it all back. I cut it to here, and she looked like she had a really bad haircut, so I cut it all the way back, which I think looks better. Uh, you know, of course, I like everything. It looked better at night. And sitting in the broad daylight in my garage, it doesn't look perfect, but it will look better. Um, so now I, she's on an aperture that Derek D. Minor loaned me, so I've got to finish doing all that and figure out how to attach the hands, and then she may be almost done. Alrighty, talk to you soon. Bye.